For nearly two years, United Launch Alliance, better known as ULA, has been quietly sitting on the market, its future uncertain and its fate hanging in the balance. Once the undisputed leader in American rocket launches, ULA is now a company in limbo waiting for a buyer bold enough to take on its legacy and its problems. Despite months of negotiations and countless meetings, no one seems willing to make the leap. The boardrooms remain empty, and the deals keep falling through. ULA still holds billions of dollars in valuable contracts, launching critical national security satellites for the U.S. government and preparing to loft Amazon's ambitious Project Kuiper constellation into orbit. Yet, even with these lucrative deals on the table, major suitors like Blue Origin and Sierra Space have all walked away, leaving ULA's future in doubt. On the surface, ULA still looks like a powerhouse, its rockets have a long track record of successful launches, and its name is synonymous with reliability in the industry. But beneath that polished exterior, the company is weighed down by high operating costs, aging technology that's expensive to maintain, and a mountain of debt that keeps growing. Once a monopoly prized for its reliability and government ties, ULA now finds itself struggling to keep up in a new era one where nimble commercial players like SpaceX and Rocket Lab are redefining the space industry with lower costs and faster innovation. Boeing and Lockheed Martin, ULA's owners, are eager to offload the company, hoping to cut their losses and move on. But the company's mounting challenges and uncertain future have scared off even the most interested buyers, leaving ULA in a precarious position. Now, in a surprising twist, Rocket Lab, a nimble upstart known for its innovation and agility, has re-emerged as a potential buyer, sparking fresh speculation and excitement across the industry. The big question now, can Rocket Lab truly transform this legacy giant into a modern competitor, or is ULA simply too much baggage for anyone to handle in today's rapidly changing space industry? To understand ULA's troubles, rewind to 2006. Back then, Boeing and Lockheed Martin merged their rocket divisions to form ULA, creating a government-backed monopoly. ULA's Atlas V and Delta IV rockets became the gold standard for reliability, launching critical military and NASA missions without fail. The government paid a premium for this certainty, even giving ULA over a billion dollars a year just to stay ready. With no real competition, ULA had little incentive to innovate or cut costs. This era of dominance bred complacency. ULA, stuck with expensive, expendable rockets and slow bureaucratic processes. But while ULA rested on its laurels, a new disruptor was quietly preparing to upend the industry. Enter SpaceX. SpaceX, founded by Elon Musk, shattered ULA's monopoly with a bold new approach, reusability and rapid innovation. In 2015, SpaceX landed the first stage of its Falcon 9 rocket, proving that rockets could be reused and dramatically slashing launch costs. Suddenly, ULA's expensive, single-use rockets looked obsolete. SpaceX's lower prices and growing reliability attracted commercial and government customers alike. ULA scrambled to respond, developing the Vulcan Centaur rocket, but delays plagued the project. Meanwhile, SpaceX launched hundreds of missions, perfecting its technology and dominating the market. ULA's comfortable cost-plus world was gone. Now it had to fight for survival. The pressure was on to adapt or fade away. ULA's backlog looks impressive. $10 to $12 billion in launch contracts from the Space Force and Amazon. But these deals are spread over years with razor-thin profit margins. To win against SpaceX, ULA had to bid low, leaving little room for error. The entire backlog depends on the new Vulcan rocket, which is still unproven and behind schedule. If Vulcan falters, ULA faces penalties and lost trust. Instead of a gold mine, the backlog is a treadmill, constant work with little payoff. Investors see the risk big revenue numbers but daunting operational and financial challenges. That's why so many have walked away. Any buyer of ULA inherits more than rockets and contracts, they get deep-rooted problems. ULA's sprawling facilities and large workforce are relics of a high-cost, low-volume era. Modernizing these operations would be a massive, expensive task. ULA also relies on Blue Origin, a direct competitor, for its Vulcan rocket engines, creating a risky supply chain dependency. Pension liabilities for ULA's aging workforce add hundreds of millions in hidden costs. Launch rates are slow eroding customer confidence, while SpaceX launches almost weekly. The recent departure of ULA's longtime CEO adds more uncertainty. 
any new owner faces a daunting overhaul, culturally and operationally, it's a heavy lift for even the boldest buyer. While ULA has struggled to adapt in a rapidly changing space industry, Rocket Lab has soared to new heights. Founded in New Zealand by Peter Beck in 2006, Rocket Lab started as a small, ambitious company with a bold vision to make space more accessible and affordable for everyone. Rocket Lab's Electron rocket quickly became a leader in small satellite launches thanks to its remarkable speed, efficiency, and vertical integration. The company 3D prints its engines, builds nearly all its own components in-house, and has pioneered rapid, cost-effective manufacturing processes that set it apart from traditional aerospace giants. By controlling its own private launch sites, Rocket Lab can schedule missions with unmatched flexibility, avoiding the bottlenecks that often slow down competitors. Rocket Lab's smart acquisitions, like Mineric for advanced laser communications technology and Geost for cutting-edge military sensors, have expanded its reach into the European market and opened doors to lucrative U.S. national security contracts, making Rocket Lab a trusted partner for both commercial and government clients. The U.S. Space Force recently awarded Rocket Lab a major contract, a clear sign of confidence in the company's capabilities and future potential. This recognition has put Rocket Lab firmly in the big leagues, elevating its status among the world's top launch providers. Now, Rocket Lab is developing Neutron, a much larger, reusable medium lift rocket designed to serve a broader range of missions and customers. Neutron is being built to compete directly with SpaceX's Falcon 9, aiming to capture a share of the booming medium lift market. But Neutron is still years away from its first flight, and the path to operational success is filled with technical and financial challenges. Acquiring ULA could give Rocket Lab instant access to heavy lift capability, established infrastructure, and a proven track record in launching the world's most valuable payloads. It would also bring a decade's worth of government contracts, relationships, and experience, assets that would otherwise take years to build from scratch. For Rocket Lab, it's a shortcut to the top of the launch industry, but it's also a risky move that could define the company's future for better or worse. Buying ULA would instantly transform Rocket Lab from a nimble upstart into a major force in the space industry, almost overnight. With the acquisition, Rocket Lab would gain access to heavy lift rockets, advanced launch pads, and a comprehensive suite of launch and support services that would have taken years to build from scratch. This deal would give Rocket Lab a seat at the table with the giants, opening doors to lucrative government contracts and commercial opportunities that were previously out of reach. It would supercharge Rocket Lab's ambitions, blending its innovative, fast-moving culture with ULA's decades of experience, deep-rooted industry relationships, and trusted reputation with NASA and the Department of Defense. But the risks are enormous. ULA comes with razor-thin profit margins, significant pension obligations, aging infrastructure, and a complex supply chain that's vulnerable to disruption. Integrating two very different corporate cultures could also spark internal resistance and slow down progress. Modernizing ULA's legacy systems while simultaneously developing Rocket Lab's next-generation Neutron rocket could stretch the company's resources, talent, and leadership to the absolute limit. If Rocket Lab manages to pull it off, it could emerge as a new titan in the space race, standing shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder with SpaceX and Blue Origin, and reshaping the industry's competitive landscape. But if the gamble fails, it could become a cautionary tale, a stark reminder of how even the boldest ambitions can be undone by harsh realities and unforeseen challenges. The stakes have never been higher for Rocket Lab, its investors, and the future of American spaceflight. The entire space world is watching closely, waiting to see if Rocket Lab can engineer the ultimate turnaround, or if the weight of ULA's legacy will prove too heavy to lift.